Hey everyone, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this video I want to show you all how to use one of my favorite background matting tools. Um, this is a leather stamping tool. It's very useful. I'll, I'll get you a better view of it when we get the camera turned around, but it's from Tandy Leather. It's super useful both in leather working and polymer clay for adding like textures and things. So um, there'll be a link to where you can purchase your own down in the video description below. And uh, let's get started. First off, I wanted to show you all a couple of examples of things that you can do with this tool on leather working. The same techniques, like it basically makes this little pattern that you're seeing here. Um, so you could use these same things on polymer clay, but I'm going to focus on leather working in this video. I use it on vegetable tanned leather because as you can see here on this piece, I've cased it with some water and that's you hold it under until the bubbles stop. Um, like little bubbles will come out of the cuts and out of the backside and then you let it start to return back to its natural color and you would take the stamp, which this is what the stamp looks like. And if you find yourself at a Tandy Leather store, this is stamp E294-03. I don't know. There you go. You can see that. Now, on these ones here, you can see I went through and I cut out my knot work. You can find templates for all my leather working on my Etsy store, which there should be links um, down below. And then also, if you become a $10 or more patron, you get access to free digital downloads of all of my work. Well, I mean, not free, but I mean, it's the $10 a month, but you get a whole bunch of digital content, all sorts of behind the scene footage and stuff. So. Anyways, <laughs> um, you can just do a border. Here you can see I went through with a beveler foot that we'll talk about in a different video and then went over it with the texturing. And this is what that looks like after it's been stained with a, um, an EcoFlow gel antique. Look like this. This one's in the black, but it comes in a bunch of different colors. But that gel antique will settle down into all those little crevices and really bring out the kind of weathering and antiquing. Now, another thing that you could do is you could full-on fill in the whole background. And this gives a really nice texture and contrast between, you know, the smooth, non-textured and the texture. And this is what that looks like after it's been stained. And this is great, too, for... I kind of wish I hadn't cut as deeply on this one, but if you mess up... Um, on one of your cuts, it's a perfect opportunity to just like mat that in <laughs> and um, like I could have hammered much harder here so that the antique gel wouldn't settle as much but um, you can kind of see there from the sides it really gives you a nice kind of texture and so just fun different things to experiment with now what I'm going to show you guys how to do here is um, we can come through and on the pieces I've been showing you, I've been tooling on the inside edge of this borderline that I cut. But you can go through and you could stamp, let me zoom in for you. You could lay the stamp full on the leather and hammer it and get a full imprint by it laying flat. I kind of wish I had a piece of scrap leather here to show you on. I do actually. Okay, so this one hasn't been cased yet. This is a nice little piece of scrap. So I'm just spraying it with a spritz bottle. Now this is just a quick way of casing. I don't necessarily recommend it for every project, especially if you want to get nice deep imprints. Let's see if I can't get the camera out of the way. There we are. So you could set it <clears throat> fully onto the leather, full impact, like you aren't tipped one way or the other. And then I'm just using a rawhide head mallet and, and I still hit the tricycle figure. And see, it gives you a really nice kind of texture. Now you could tip it over one way and get a fade in. Or you could tip it over, you know, the other way or towards you or away from you. That one's kind of awkward. But I like to be able to try to have good control over where my hammer is hitting from. So I have, I feel like I have the most control over directly above or off to the side. Because over here is kind of weird. Like, I don't feel like it's as stable in my hand. So that's what we'll be doing there. Just And it's, keep all of your scrap pieces of leather because you never know when you're going to want to practice something or when you're going to have a friend over or, you know, just, just what. <laughs> so now we're going to come back to our piece. And I'm going to zoom in. Boop, boop, boop. 
and I'm actually going to take this and we're working on a solid granite block. Um, you could use marble or just something that's going to absorb all of the uh, heavy hitting. And then you can actually see underneath here, I have a black poundo board. And that helps absorb a lot of the noise. Like, I don't know if y'all can hear it in the background. Um, Randy's taking a nap on the couch and he's snoring very gently. But I can comfortably do my leather work without feeling like I'm going to really bother him. But he's also a really heavy sleeper. So, <laughs> so I'm zooming in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to take this and bring it off to the side and then hammer. And this, the, my edges have already been beveled. They haven't been slicked or anything, but we'll get there. And I'm just laying this against the beveled edge. And we'll talk more about beveled edges too as um, in other videos. I'm going to try to do a whole line of, um, you know, kind of beginner friendly <clears throat> introduction to leather working videos so you can see how that gives us a really nice kind of like fade in and so you could take this and just go all the way around like that let me get you a different view of this So you can see, and I'm, I'm not letting the tool jump very much. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to hit it and have it bounce. Um, and I'm just slow and steady and patient, both with yourself and with the leather. If you feel like it's not taking the tooling as deeply as it ought to, um, go ahead and re-wet it with your spritz bottle or with like a sponge, and you know, just, it just doesn't matter really how you go about it. Just get it wet. <laughs> And so here you can really see without and with. And that texturing really gives it a nice effect. You know, and then so you could do that and then you could fill in the inside here or you could go on to do just whatever you want. So thanks everybody for joining me for this video. I do hope that it was helpful to you. Um, if you have it, and also I don't want it to be like, oh, these are the only things you can do with this stamp. No, experiment. There's no telling what you guys might be able to come up with. That's why I love sharing the things I've learned with y'all. Because more often than not, y'all will be like, oh, well, what if you did blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ah, that's amazing. I would have never thought of that. So please feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or ideas. I'm just showing you again more examples. I really like this one, the way that the background texture kind of shows through and if I if future Vaughn remembers there should be a link up in the video description video description or a video <laughs> something popping up on the screen on the sides showing you how I made this one and again this was another piece that was made using our templates on patreon now speaking of patreon if y'all enjoy my free tutorials and would like to support the creation of more of them as well as get access to our um, digital downloadable content and um, in monthly craft crates and uh, fairy house giveaways, all the different things that we do here at Back to Earth Creations, please check us out on Patreon. There's a link down below. And even if you don't want to become a patron, if you set up an account, you can just click follow because some <clears throat> sometimes I'll post stuff that everybody can see whether or not they're a pledger. And so that's kind of cool because you get different behind the scenes stuff and all sorts of different things. So thank you guys so much though for hanging out with me. Uh, Happy crafting, and I'll see you around. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>